Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slag slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad. <gasps> uh, uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy! You shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <laughs> it's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! <laughs> It's not an earthquake. Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh! <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew! It's not in my flat. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your lives. Too 
fast. The mill is out of control. It's filling up with flour. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down. <sighs> All right. I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind. No, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right -oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <laughs> Elves are never happy. I can pretend to fish. Pretend to fish? Moles don't like it when I pretend to fish. Now, quick, before the mole comes back. Abracadabra cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh dear. I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills. So, um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. What do we say? Call an elf right away. And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum is up so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins! Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf! Goodness me, Mrs Elf! I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible! Oh, no! The twins have made all the elves invisible. Uh, who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy. Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, 
But that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> we need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one? That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> ah, there's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I'm Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> <laughs> My... King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle. You didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very... Ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say. <laughs> What's that? Exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh. Let's dance! Come on, Mummy! King and Queen Marigold are not boring at all! <laughs> to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed
supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, Strawberry, how's wands practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the Elf Factory! Look, Nanny, wands are magic and elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I... It would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze. I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr. Elf? Um. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> ah! Ants! <laughs> That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool. Yeehaw! Giddy up, giddy up. Must be where the Queen Ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the Queen? Uh, yes. She's um big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. <laughs> and you've got my horn. And Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
It's heading back to the little castle. Oh. oh, my goodness, Mr. Elf. We were spared by the mighty wheel thundering back from whence it came, and I think it was... <clears throat> There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? The wheel hit the elf tree, but everyone is OK. Hooray! Hooray! What's the bad news? The wheel is coming back here! Ah! Everyone into the tower! Run for your lives! I can't believe it! Yes, King Thistle, wonderful, isn't it? Your hamster is back home. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Away we go! Have you got a present for our friend Lucy? Lucy? She's a little girl we know. Of course there's a present for her. Hmm, why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. This little elf must go here. And this pretty fairy should be at the top of the tree. Phew! That was really close. Let's deliver Lucy's presents. Ben! Holly! Lucy! You're supposed to be asleep. I'm too excited! What are you doing here? We're delivering your Christmas presents. Whoa! Do elves and fairies get presents as well? No, but tonight we have the elf and fairy feast. There's lovely music and lanterns in the trees. That sounds nice. It's beautiful. We'd better go. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Nanny. is Gaston's cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? <coughs> hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. We'd better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. <coughs> No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. 
So, not a good room for toddlers to be in, then. <laughs> I hear the sound of excited little ones. And something else. We must not enter. Honestly, what a lot of fuss about a terrible magical force of unimaginable power. I'll handle this. Good luck, me brave little pumpkin. Go off! <laughs> what can you see? Terrible things! Redbeard to the rescue! <laughs> Here be the toddlers. No! Hang on, Nanny Pum! Here she be! You're safe now, my plum pudding. I've seen many a terrible thing at sea, but nothing, nothing as bad as what I saw in that room. That's why we tend to keep the door locked. <laughs> Good. The party's over. It all went rather well, I thought. But what about the jelly? We haven't had magic jelly yet. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! All right, Nanny, but please don't make too much this time. Magic jelly! That's good. The party must be almost over. Ah, <laughs> oh, Raspberry. Have you had a nice time? Yes, Mummy. Tarquin, say thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, Nettle. Ow! She stung me again. It's Raspberry's birthday next. We hear you've got a children's entertainer who's good with toddlers. Yes. Here he is, the great Wizardo. Um, I... Uh... Wonderful. See you all at Raspberry's party, then. <laughs> party, party! <laughs> <laughs> That's the last delivery done. Dad, did you see snow? Yes, lots of it. Enough snow to last me a lifetime. Now you've finished your work, Mr Elf. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing. And lanterns. Yes, and those lanterns don't hang themselves up to work. Stop, Mr Elf. It's about time you had a rest. A rest? You've been working hard all year. Just sit down and relax for five minutes. I can give you three. You work too hard. Elves like working hard. And I'm an elf. <gasps> oh, dear. You really must relax. Just say, I'm on holiday. Well, all right. I'm on holiday. Ah. That's nice. Hello? Wise old elf speaking? Ho, ho, ho! It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. I can't find Box 571. Box 571? I need those toys before tonight. Or some children will not get their Christmas presents. Never fear, Mr Christmas. We will get the box to you. I will deliver it personally. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. What happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. Very 
good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> Oh, you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh, that was a busy day. Ho, ho. Yes, it was. Uh, play games! Yes! You've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Thank you, Queen Holly! Right, Mr Elf, next on the list, a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf! Gosh, what a busy day! Yes! But elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> Make way! Elf at work! There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho! Bye! Bye! Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me! And me! And me. And me. Queen Holly! We're hungry! Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Hi, Holly. Do you want to come and play? I'd like to play, Ben, but I can't. We're going to visit King and Queen Marigold. They're a bit snooty. I'm glad I'm not going. I wish I wasn't going. Maybe your mum will let you stay and play with me. Mummy, can I play with Ben today? What a good idea. Hooray! Ben can come too. Oh. That's all right, isn't it, Mr Elf? Oh, yes. Go off and enjoy yourself, Ben. See you later. Bye. Oh, you're coming too, are you? OK. Magic car, drive on. This is fun! A magic car! Yes, it uses fairy dust to make it go. Cool! I want you all on your best behaviour today. Yes, Queen Thistle! King and Queen Marigold's home will be full of very precious things. Horrible, but precious. So you mustn't touch anything. Visiting King and Queen Marigold sounds like hard work. It'll be exhausting. Here we are, King and Queen Marigold's castle. Oh, what a horrible building. Such bad taste. It's beautiful. Cool castle. Hello and welcome. Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello. 
And this is my best friend, Ben. You've met him before. Of course. The charming little goblin. I'm not a goblin. I'm an elf. <coughs> it's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! <laughs> Ben found my wand. That's very nice, but you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up, and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Holly! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. OK, how about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> Fast as elves. Okay, 
I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me. <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you. <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a new game. Yes. Hide and seek. OK. We'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK. No flying. One... Two, three... Uh, Fan? I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! <laughs> Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one, fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, your royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben, and thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. <coughs> Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. <coughs> I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm, I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. 
Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's okay. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. <laughs> that was fun. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! <laughs> Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her! Do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. Okay, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <coughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin! It's not a bin! It's the Great Elf Tower! Just get out of there, you silly old elf! Excuse me! <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy! Uh, hello! <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy! I am not a smelly little fairy! I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, 
Why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! Ah, ah, ah. Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! Wise old elf! The squirrels are coming! Uh, uh, squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Ah! Oh! I say, an acorn. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Ah. Ah. Goodness me, what's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Right-o. Ben, there's an emergency at the Little Castle. We have to go right away. Right-o. Elves to the rescue. <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves. Master, master. Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. <laughs> Uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. Ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. Eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! 
Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the line! Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? Ah! He's eating Banty! Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? Oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bunty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like... Fish fingers. With chips! <laughs> now we're safe. Next on the list, collect sticks for the campfire. Here are some sticks. Here are some more. OK, that's enough sticks. <laughs> oh. Hello there. A gnome. <laughs> Mind if I join you? Uh... Thank you. I'll only stay for a week or two. Oh, no. But we had an orange. Yes. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the smell of this orange. But gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm on a balanced diet, you see. If I eat ten pies and twenty steam puddings, I need to balance that by eating fruit. <sighs> Let's make a fire. How do you make a fire, Mr Elf? Rub two sticks together really fast, like this. <sighs> you have to rub the sticks a little bit faster. <sighs> Would you like to hear the interesting thing I know about sticks? <sighs> sticks grow on trees. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. I'm nice and warm now. That's because fire is hot. <laughs> <sighs> I'm hungry. Me too. What a surprise. I've hardly eaten anything today. I've only had ten pies, a skip full of chips, 30 apple tarts. Wow! That's a lot. A sponge cake, 100 sausages and that orange. I thought you said you were on a diet. Oh, I am. There are some things I don't eat, like stones, wood and television sets. Hi, Holly and Violet. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. Have you seen Ben? I want to play football with him. Uh. I don't think you can play football with a bird. Bird? Yes. Violet turned Ben into a bird. You changed him into a frog first. Well, anyway, now he's flown away and we will never find him. It's very annoying. Hmm. Birds live in trees, so we need to look up at the trees. Strange. One of those birds is wearing a hat. That's Ben! But that nest is very high. And we're not allowed to fly high. Then it's a lucky thing I'm around. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abracadabra. Oh, uh, that was disgusting.
disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah, oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. But Holly, we haven't got a ball. That's easy. I can magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadoo, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> To you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magicked the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <whistles> so what's this, then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da do dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg.